<laughs> okay, my name's Ruth Wiggins. I'm a clinical academic and um, doing a PhD at the University of Sheffield. And I'm also a training uh, medic, training in respiratory medicine. Why are you on this contract is not safe and it's not fair for patients. We all currently work out of hours and the um, restructuring of antisocial hours is going to be absolutely no good for the patients that we serve. Um, I don't actually understand how the government expects us to work the new hours, work the new proposed new contracts for the amount, uh, with the number of staff that we already have. We're already understaffed, we're already overworked. Um, the care that patient, our patients receive is already suboptimal. We need to invest more in our NHS services and we need to invest more in the care that we provide our patients rather than trying to restructure and demoralise a, a workforce who already work as hard as they possibly can. A lot of people on the picket line today have said they had uh, second thoughts about going on strike and they didn't actually want to be here, they want to be at work. Are you, are you the same as well? Absolutely. I mean, no, nobody wants to be here today. Nobody wants to compromise the care of their patients. We all care about what happens to our patients. That's why we're here in the first place. We absolutely would not be doing this if we thought that the contract negotiations that were being proposed were fair and that they were going to benefit the people who, um, who ultimately everybody cares about the most, which is trying to look after the people that we care for. We're not here for ourselves, we're here for other people. Do you feel like you've got the support of the general public and um, patients as well that uh, the junior doctors look after? I, I hope so. I mean, by the number of beats that we've been getting, yeah. I'd say, you know, we've got a fairly good response rate today, so I really, really hope so. I think it's really sad how much spin the Department of Health, NHS employers, and the media, some media outlets particularly, have been putting on, 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 on this campaign. I mean, obviously there was a big article in The Sun on Sunday about Moe Medics. I mean, it's just utter rubbish. It's absolutely trite. Uh, that's not true of the vast majority of doctors I know. I mean, of course doctors are people. Of course they do things that people do, like go on holiday and have a house. Um, but, you know, that's not what we're about. Most of the people, the vast majority of the people that I know, are here because they care about patients, and that's why they went into the profession in the first place and actually one of the things that's been really amazing about this campaign is to see people really coming out and saying that and, and really kind of advocating for the people that they're supposed to care for because you know I think that's one of the things that's a really positive thing that's come out of the campaign as a whole.